There are a number of indications that things are breaking our way, and I just want to want you to know what they are. Here's the latest from the betting site Poly Market about the betting odds on each of the uh, swing states. They cover six swing states, and I'm just going to give you the odds. In Arizona, Trump 75 percent, Harris 25 percent. This this means that. There are there are three dollars betting on Trump for every one dollar betting on Harris. That's the meaning of this seventy five twenty five. Georgia seventy three percent Trump, Harris twenty seven. Pennsylvania is the one interesting to me. Sixty one percent Trump, thirty nine percent Harris. Wisconsin fifty nine percent Trump, forty one Harris. Michigan fifty three percent Trump, forty seven percent Harris. Actually, that's the closest of all these states. Nevada Trump sixty five percent Harris. 35%. Now, I want to be clear, no one is saying that when when I say Arizona Trump 75%, Harris 25%, this does not mean Trump is going to win Arizona by 75% of the vote. It just means that 75% of the betting dollars are on Trump as opposed to Harris. But now I turn to the poll the pollster for CNN. His name is Harry Enton and he's talking about what he thinks is going to happen. And he says, look, I don't know what's going to happen, but he goes, I'll give you a couple of indicators, and he focuses really on two. One of them is he says that the approval rating of the incumbent party, the number of people who think the United States is on the right track right now, is 28%. And he says, if you look at previous elections, when the incumbent party loses, he goes, they generally have an approval rating of about 25 percent. He says for the incumbent party to win an election, they generally have to be around 42 percent. And um, and then he looks at a number of examples of this. Um, and he also looks at what happens when you have unpopular presidents who are trying to be succeeded by a successor of their own party. He looks, for example, at Harry Truman, who was very unpopular in 1952. And even though he was uh, not the candidate against Eisenhower, the actual candidate lost to Eisenhower decisively. The Republicans won the 1952 election and Eisenhower was in for eight years. Lyndon Johnson, very unpopular in 1968, decided not to run again. Hubert Humphrey was the candidate, destroyed by Richard M. Nixon. Um, and uh, then... Um, and um, uh, so what he's getting at here is that and he gives the example of George W. Bush. George W. Bush, very unpopular uh, in 2008. His popularity was really in the 20s. Uh, 